Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you do, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word is, God says, stop and listen to me. My words have meaning. Obey me now. God is telling us a lot of things that he wants us to do. We must listen to God and follow what he's saying. In Isaiah 55 and 3, it reads, Incline your ear and come to me. Listen that you may live. God wants you to listen to him. Whatever God is telling you to do, obey it. Listen to him because he's directing you. He's leading you. He's guiding you the right way to go. Always listen to God. Listen to him in his words. What he's saying in the Bible, what he's saying to you. And you see with your eyes and you hear with your ears. Listen. Always when you wake up in the morning, say, God, lead me the way that you want me to go. So I won't go the wrong way. May God bless you and keep you all. Because it's time for you to live right. You know, some of us, we live in our life the way that we think it's supposed to be. Ask God. Say, God, show me the way that you want me to live. God, show me. Tell me the way you want me to do things. God want to show you. God want to help you to live right. God wants you to be better. He don't want you to keep suffering in pain, going through anxiety, going through all of this depression, in and out the hospital because you don't know who you are. If you listen to God, God will open your mind. He will open your understanding. It's very important that we listen to God and say, God, let your will be done in my life. Whatever you want me to be, whatever you want me to do, I will do it. It's time for us to wake up, saints. It's time for us to do what God is calling us to do. We are Christians. We are church people. We are holy. If God is holy, we are holy as well. We must follow God, and our body is a living sacrifice. We got to remember our body. We got to watch what we put in our body. We got to be careful what we're doing with our body. Okay, we can't be using our body for drugs and for sin and all of this crazy stuff. We got to repent and get up and turn away from that stuff and ask God to help us to listen and obey him. Follow God's will for your life and allow God to live through you and to help you. Say, God, guide me, lead me the way that you want me to go. Help me to be a better person. And he will. Don't give up on God. Keep praying, keep fasting, keep meditating, keep allowing God to work through you. Allow God a chance. Give him a chance in you and say, God, I know somebody that's watching me. You feel that, you know, if I get to know God, I'm not going to have fun. Listen, you can have fun. You can go to Bible study. You can do a lot of things. You can go on vacation and all that stuff. It's just how you live your life. The way you live your life, you got to make sure you live in everything that you do in God. Make sure you follow his will for your life. Some of us, we follow God, but we still sinning and going through drug dealing and all this stuff. Listen, you follow God. Make sure you listen to him. God wants you to listen to him. He wants you to know that I'm on your side. I'm there to protect you. To I'm there to, you know, protect you, to heal you, to, you know, prevent all of this stuff that's going on in this world. It's a lot of stuff that's going on in this world. Car accidents, people dying, things happen out the blue. So I just want you to know that God is on your side. Whatever you're going through, pray about it and say, God, open up my ears, open up my mouth, open up, you know, my eyes to see the truth. And God will. So don't give up on God. Keep praying. God is going to open up your ears so you can hear him. God want all of us to hear him more. So I just want to say be encouraged. Keep the faith. Keep holding on and watch what God do for you. I love you all. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Do not give up, but pray about all things. And put God first in everything you do. Put him first and watch how God leads you and direct you the way that he wants you to go. Don't give up on God. I tell everybody this. Do not give up on God. Know that God will see you through everything. So whatever you're going through, pray about it. And say, Lord, help me to praise you more. Help me to surrender. Help me to just bow down to you. And God will ask God for the help that you need. Because he ain't going to give up on you. You know, we may give up on ourselves. We may give up on other things in life. But we want God to help us and strengthen our mind. Our mind needs to be focused on God. And ask God for the help that you need. Whatever you're going through, ask God for the help. And he will supply all your needs. So I just want to say be encouraged. Keep the faith. Keep holding on. Keep fasting. Keep praying. Keep reading your Bible. Keep allowing God's word to be in you. The more you exercise your strength and your power, keep reading that Bible. Keep fasting. Keep meditating. Keep you know, writing your notes and everything. Go back and forth to church and keep your body 
in God and watch what God do for you. I love you. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Do not give up, but pray about all things. Stay blessed.